Welcome back to the Forensics Detailing Channel. In this video, we are taking three microfiber wash products from detailing brands and seeing if they can outperform in any way the liquid non-bios that you can buy from your high street supermarket. <laughs> Welcome back to the Forensics Detailing channel guys, it's great to see you, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already done so, and come and join us on the Forensics Unplugged channel, and also consider subscribing to the Patreon community, which has got a whole different level of tiering rewards for monthly contests, the basic access, and to a particular tier that I'm going to talk about now, tier 4, where you can actually request your own video and I'll make it for you. So one of my t tier 4 patrons requested I go and do a comparison of microfiber washes from brands within the detailing scene um, versus the stuff that you can buy in your normal high street supermarkets and that's what we're doing in this video. Now first up in this comparison guys is the product that I've been using for god knows how many years to wash my microfiber and it is, the focus is going to be out, it's going to take its time, bear with me, it is the Sainsbury's non-bio delicate wash for walls silk and cashmere okay so it's a delicate wash it's clear in color it costs around two costs around about uh, two pound fifty the prices do vary it goes up and down a little bit roughly two pound fifty um with a rough cost per wash of around about 14p so it's relatively cheap guys uh it contains no dyes, but it does contain a fragrance. You can smell it, sort of like old lady's Avon perfume. Okay, that's the first product. The next product, guys, from a detailing brand, ODK, a wax maker originally, but been around for quite a while, an established brand now, and this product's getting a good rap at the moment, so uh, it was one of the ones that was requested to me to test. Plush is an effective and safe cleaning detergent for all your microfiber towels, mitts and pads. Plush is designed to refresh your microfiber cloths and towels, bringing them back to new condition. Plush is fragrance and color free. Um, you use 30 ml of plush, um, and it says here to keep your wash on a 30 degree safe cycle, do not wash above 60 degrees or, or more, which is a, a good amount of um, product. So let's just have a sniff. There's no noticeable sense in there. It does have a slight yellow color, but that's not coloring. I think that's just the materials that they are using. So the claim to fame of this one is you use 30 mil, which is slightly less, so you could say it might be a little bit more concentrated. Um, this product costs 10 pounds for 500 mil, as opposed to two pound 50 for 750 mil. And based on 30 mil, it's rough cost per wash is around 60 P which is approximately four times the cost per wash of this one. The next product, guys, Nanolex, German brand that have been around for a while. Let's get the focus, come on. Oh, right, you don't need the focus. This is never, never a good production here anyway. Nanolex microfiber wash costing 11 pounds for 750 mil. You use 50 mil per wash, so a little bit more than your ODK, and that yields a cost per wash of 73p. So it's effectively more expensive than the ODK and obviously many times more expensive than the supermarket brand. Let's just have a quick read of the blurb. Nanolax microfiber wash is specifically designed for cleaning microfiber towels and accessories. High quality microfiber tools such as pads, drying towels, wash mitts, applicator pads must be properly washed in order to protect their microfiber structure and functionality. Yes, true. The special formulation is free from fragrances and brighteners ensures a rigorous residue free yet mild damage free wash this results in longer lasting microfiber tools with intact capillary structures and unconfirmed unconfined dirt removal capability so this, there's quite a lot of information here um, 
Amoretic surfactants with outstanding cleaning properties prevent streaking and smearing when the microfiber towels are used. So yeah, you can create streaking and smearing if you're using things with conditioners and oil in it on your towels. You lose the absorbency of your towels and there's materials in your towels. You, you can affect how the microfiber works. Um, we recommend to use 50 ml of Nanolex microfiber wash for up to 10 kgs of microfiber detergent and there's all other health and safety stuff there okay so that's fine next up guys we have auto glands a uk company microfiber wash a delicate yet highly effective non-bio microfiber cloth and polishing pad wash solution designed for use in domestic washing machines um, so it says here you can use 30 to 60 ml of solution in each wash so based on using 45 ml, this product costs nine pounds for 500 ml. And if you're using 45 ml per wash, that's a cost per wash of 81 P. So that's the most expensive out of our range of products here. Okay, guys, so that is introducing the products and their prices. So the main thing to take away from that is essentially, this is the order of value for money 14 to 15p a wash, a big jump up four times the amount to 60p, 73p, so virtually five times the price, and then 81p, five and a half times the price cost per wash. So the main thing to take away from this is forgetting about product performance. If you want to use detailing brand specific microfiber washes, they're going to cost between four to roughly five times the cost per wash of what you're buying in the supermarket. Next up guys, I wanted to do a lab style test where we test the ability of these products to move, remove stains from microfiber cloths. Whenever we're doing a lab style comparison, you try to lock down and match variables because the more variables that are different, the more invalid your test results are. They have, you have to have your variables the same, okay? Some people don't understand that, and they say, you can't do that if you're, if you're using it this way, it's not how they're telling you to use it. I understand that, but what we do, as well as a lab style test, is we will use them. And I've gone through at least half of the bottles of all these products, and tons of bottles of this one, and when I use them normally to form an opinion, I will use them within their range. Now, in this lab style test, we've used 40 mil of the products this particular product here says you can use anywhere between 40 to 100 mil so we're within we're within the normal range this one is 30 to 60 mil for the auto glands one so within we're in the range there the nanolex one asks you to use 50 mil so we're 10 mil less than what they tell you there. there's no range specified with these there should always be a range because you can always up it a little bit or reduce it a little bit as required so we're close to the usage and this one recommends 30 so we're 10 mil over the ODK, but within, we're within a sensible amount. Using 40 mil of detergent is sensible, but we're locking that variable down just for this one particular test. What were the four particular stains that we're testing, guys? So I bought some clean, new um, white microfiber and we impregnated those, <laughs> that's a clever word. Um, one with turmeric, one with coffee, one with tomato ketchup, and one with grease, my forensic dirt simulator, which is a real messy, horrible thing, and it will need degreasing to shift that, as well as probably some other types of cleaning properties as well. Um, and the main thing we're doing there, we're testing different things. The tomato ketchup is kind of an organic, an oil kind of thing, so it'll need some degreasing to get rid of that. Uh, coffee is like a tanning, isn't it? Turmeric, Jesus, that's like a proper dye in its own right. So we're testing four different things, basically. Um, and we did the wash on 30 degrees, guys. So it's, it's a pound for pound exact comparison. And here are the results. The results of the stain cleaning. First up, grease in reverse order. So in other words, the one that did worse with the grease was the Auto Glands microfiber wash, followed by the Nanolex product, followed by the Sainsbury's, and then the best one was ODK uh, microfiber wash. I'll just give you a second to say why. So it looks like there's a lot more grease on here, but in particular where the grease is, the tips of the fiber are still kind of black. 
And if you look at the other ones, it's starting to break that down. You're getting clean tips. But this one, which was the second to worst, because most of the towel still remain dirty. When you look at the other ones here, this towel is starting to get kind of clean um, in lots of places. And even where the grease spots were, it started to break that down. This one, I think, did best on grease, followed by the Sainsbury's, which was similar to this. So those are my results um, with grease. Next up is coffee, and I think this is a different tale. So in worst place, guys, I don't know if you can see this on camera, but the most brown stain still is the, um, the Nanolex one. Then after that, these two are near as damn it identical. And then the one that is slightly lighter um, and got the coffee stains out the best is, I believe, the auto glands one. So that's last place, joint second, first with coffee next up turmeric guys you can probably see this in the camera um so in joint last place was these two where they're they're the yellowest for me um in his second second place was the nanolex where it's slightly yes less yellow and then the one that's removed the turmeric the most can you see it in the camera was the auto glands product so Joint third, second, first on the turmeric. Then finally, tomato ketchup. Hopefully you can see this, guys. In last place is this one here. This is still the sort of reddest, the darkest. Um, in joint second place are these two, where they're virtually identical colour. And then the cleanest one um, out of all three is this one here which is the ODK. If a product won a particular thing, I gave it four points. If it come last, it got one point, or they might have tied some of the points. So the overall points here, guys, in the cleaning was the Nanolex products got the least amount of points with nine. The Sainsbury's then got 11 points, and the Auto Glands got 12, and the ODK got 13, the most points. So ODK performed the best um, in this particular cleaning test yes it is quite close yes it is quite subjective and a little thing that's worth saying is that all of these products behaved pretty much as expected that really with this level of staining and hammering a, a, a delicate non-bio product is actually not the most suitable and you'd want to crank the heat up but I wanted to keep it cool and rely on the products to do the cleaning so there's the results, let's move on to the next test. Next up guys, beyond the lamp style testing, which is useful up to a point, you do learn some things about products, the most important thing is just to use them. And I wanna tell you about my experience of using these particular products. First of all, let's start with the Sainsbury's Delicate Wash Non-Bio. I've had no problems using this product. I don't find the fact that it's got fragrance in it clogs up my microfiber or I get any issues with my microfibers like not absorbing stuff and you can see like sometimes after you've buffed certain products with a microfiber you can fill them up with materials and they become hydrophobic and all this sort of stuff and you if you wash your microfiber incorrectly and my missus does all that those microfiber cloths you can put them under a tap and the water doesn't even soak into them immediately they lose some of their absorbency because they're loaded with materials so some of the advice about how to wash your microfiber and we've done a video on it that I'll flash up there on how to wash it. It's good advice, it's important to keep your microfiber free of products, clean and absorbent. I have no issues with this, all I'll say is naturally with a liquid delicate non-bio is if I have really greasy stained microfiber this product on its own is going to struggle and what I will typically do is mix up some APC with warm water and pre-soak my microfiber and maybe ruffle it up a bit, get the old brush on it, work some of those stains, squeeze out some of the grease, if I can be bothered. You know, if it's, uh, I, you know, <laughs> I might just bin them, but I used to do that. Um, and what I would do is um, crank the heat up, up to 60 degrees, and maybe put some uh, vinegar in with the wash, just to help a little bit. Um, and if those towels don't come out clean, then they're just relegated for like, wiping out wheel arches and horrible duties. And that's how I do it. So it's not always possible for me to get every 
type of dirt out of microfiber with these. And even using a biological one might be in your interest then for that type of microfiber. It's up to you. Uh, I don't tend to do that. So I'm very happy with this particular product and it doesn't cost me a lot of money. I've also used Asda's Liquid Non-Bio. I've used Morrison's Liquid Non-Bio. I don't care that this is Sainsbury's. I don't find this is any better than any of the others. I just find all of those cheap, delicate non-bios that you can get in all the various brands um, acceptable. Some of them do, like the Asda's one, for example, is green, so it has dye in it, stuff like that. I don't have any particular problem with that because when it's the concentration is so low, I don't think it makes that much difference, but you might have a different opinion on that. Um, the next one is these two products, guys. I'm about halfway through both of them, and I have no issues with them whatsoever. You know, would I, would I put them to one side and say, I'm not using these, they've not performed as I want them to? The truth is, I can't tell the difference between using these detailing brand ones um, and the Sainsbury's ones, they just do a good job. Um, that's it, so no problems with them. The product, which if I didn't, didn't consider price and just had these products with no labels on them and said, what's your favorite product out of all of them? It would be the ODK microfiber wash. And I'm not sure if I've biased myself seeing the kind of results of it on the tomato and the grease, but I just felt like the microfiber cloths always come out of the wash really nice with this product <laughs> and I don't know I don't know guys they just feel the cloths felt good um, so out of all of them from real world testing not factoring in price my personal favorite was the ODK wash okay guys I'm gonna end this video now this video doesn't need to prattle on for hours and hours um, I already had a set opinion on this and this video hasn't radically changed my opinion in any way. What is that? Get on with it, John. It is the challenge of these brands. The challenge for detailing brands is to look at what I get as a consumer and what you get as a consumer and kick the arse of that product in every way, shape or form so that you, as a consumer, get so much value either in performance, you know, or money saving or some form of value that the value exchange is so high you say I'm no longer using the store-bought cheap thing and I'm going to move over to a detailing brand product now in order for it to do in order for it to do that these products have to radically outperform this particular product and in my opinion they don't in fact if you blind tested this a million times with a million different people I think you would struggle to come up with any preference really on performance although that one might just edge it because of its extra degreasing kick um, and perhaps that concentration um, benefit okay um, but there's not enough there the key thing is guys it goes back to exactly what I said at the start of the video these the cost per wash of these products is four or five times higher than this and the increment in performance is negligible and very difficult um, to test and in fact the fact that these products are deliberately mild and, and delicate and not using aggressive components means that really you could argue the fact this one's degreasing more may, might mean that it's harsher there's that flip argument so really it comes down to are you happy with your with your, the performance of your store bought um, detergent so the conclusions I would draw on this one guys is that if you're looking at what to wash your microfiber in you should start with store bought detergents like this Sainsbury's non bio delicate wash or your Asda one or your Morrison's one or your boots one whatever it is it's not gonna make that much difference in fact go with the one that offers you the lowest cost per wash um, and if you think it's not overloaded with fragrance and scents, but I wouldn't worry too much about the fragrance and scents. If after using those products, you're disappointed and you look at the, and you're prepared to pay four to five times the cost per wash, then my recommendation is that you go and try this ODK plush product if you want something with a little bit of extra kick. Otherwise, by all means, try the Nanolex microfiber wash or the Autoglands wash 
but I think they're all so mild, safe, and yes, proficient, that you're gonna to struggle to tell the difference. That's the conclusions, guys. This is not, it's not an attack on the detailing scene, but like I say, the challenge is to give me some sort of value and get me using your products. And really, the massive increment in cost per wash means that I personally will be continuing to use store-bought microfiber washes because I'm happy with the results. Thank you for watching. Let me know your thoughts on this. Let me know if you've moved across. Why did you move across? What have you moved across to? What are the benefits? And tell me what the cost per wash is of the product that you're using as well. Because then this video will come, become a very useful piece of consumer information. Even if it's another supermarket brand, tell me the cost per wash with how much you use or if it's a detailing one. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Stay, stay tuned and I'll see you soon on the Forensics Detailing channel. Bye for now. Holding on to what I knew, but the moment's gone. Where was I when?